Hello, sweet friends and crafters. Welcome to Carol's Craft Cottage. Today's Scrap Diva Designs Design Team project features a couple dies from Scrap Diva Designs. If you care to purchase these dies, they may be purchased at this website, which is www.scrapdivadesigns.com. I will leave links to the dies in the description box below to make it easy for you to shop. Please use Carol 10 at checkout for 10% off your entire order. So I use this die right here, which is the mini heart alphabet for the words on my project. And then I'm featuring this die right here, which is the heart and arrow straw topper. But I have a cool way to use this to give as gifts to uh, children, maybe in a classroom or a party that you're having, uh, something to that effect. Uh, it is a pencil holder in the shape of an arrow and how cute is this we're going to have a tutorial at the end of my project share and i will give you measurements and show you how to make this isn't that adorable so for the arrow what i did is i used uh, there are two sizes in here i layered them uh, i liked the dimension that i got so i cut out the small one and layered it on top of the large one which is what I did with this as well. And I felt that with the way that the arrow was, that it had to be a little bit bigger to be in proportion. So I added another heart from my uh, stash. And you are welcome to do that as well, or just leave just the two that come with the die set. Either way, it's still cute. So here I have the layering i layered the largest die in gold and the smaller die in pink and i have these little bows in my stash so i put them on the arrow and then the heart is layered as well and i used a i, I think this is a die from my stash i know the leaves are from the flower die that uh Erica sells in her shop. I'm not sure if that's out of stock or not, but some of these flowers are from her uh, dyes. And if I find the flowers, I will leave the links below. So this one is one of uh, the flowers and so is this one. And I have a tutorial to make these flowers. So check out my videos in case you want to create those. So here you see I use the alphabet and I use the word cute and that is completely adorable. And when you turn it over, this opens up in your arrow holes pencils. So isn't that perfect for a classroom Valentine exchange or party? I think it's adorable, really adorable. So I'm gonna show you the different ones I made. I used different uh, pieces from my stash to decorate the arrows. And there's the word hugs. Really cute, right? And uh, the Dollar Tree has lots of Valentine pencils right now so that you can make these and fill them up. Here we have one that says sweet. And I used some little pearls on this one. And I did take some uh, eyelash yarn and twirl it around the rose to get that nice fluffy look on that flower. And we have this one here, it says Cupid. And you can see some of these I used pink, some of these I used red to coordinate with my designer paper. This is a Scrap Diva Designs flower. This is also a Scrap Diva Designs flower, and so is the little leaves on the back of here. This one says smile, and I got some more little bows from my stash. It's really adorable. Love this little present here. And then the last one I'll show you is this one. It says love. There's a Scrap Diva Designs flower die right there. I think this one's called the five petal. I'll look it up for you and put it below if it's still available. <coughs> and I have the word love, these little bows from my stash. 
So let's go ahead and make one of these. So you're gonna need a scoreboard. And I'm going to put you up here a little bit so that you can see what I'm doing. All right. All right, to make the pencil case, you're going to need a piece of designer paper that's three and a half inches wide by nine and a half inches long. And we are going to score this. I don't have my score. Um, I must have left it on my table, but mine is scored. We're just going to go ahead and go over how to score this. So on the short side at the top, you're going to score at one half inch, at one inch, at two inches, and at two and a half inches. All right, and then you're going to put the long side at the top. And you are going to score at one half inch, eight and a half inches, and nine inches. And you're done. You can put the score board away. And now we're going to come and cut this. So now you have all your score lines. And I'm going to bring this up so that you can see what I'm looking at here. So I have a, a, a half inch here, a half inch here, two inch, a half inch, and two inch. So I'm going to cut all of this off. All right. So I, I have this, and this is for the closure on the top of my box, all right? And then on the bottom here, I am going to cut to the score line right here, so you can see it, cut to that score line, all the little score lines on the bottom. I have one right here. I'm gonna go ahead and fold that so I can see it. I get a reflection. So if you, before you uh, cut, you can fold your score lines. It'll make it easier for you to find them. So I have this one cut, this one cut. Now I'm gonna cut this one right here and cut this one here. And then I do not need this piece, so I'm going to snip this off right here. All right, so this is what it looks like. This is what's going to fold into the box. And this is what the bottom looks like. You've got it scored here, 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 here. And this little piece is cut off. So now we're going to glue this. We only have to glue it on one side. Okay, so we're going to put glue along this one right here. All right, and we're just going to fold it over on itself, just like that, and let it grab that glue, and then we're going to Put it so it's square like this. Now, if you do have a corner rounder, it would be a great time to round these corners. And I will show you on my pencil box that I did round my corners. I just did not bring the corner rounder over here with me. So I will do that off camera, but you're gonna go ahead and round the corners. You can actually, if you don't have a corner rounder, um, you can go ahead and uh, round it with just a pair of scissors. So I'm going to close that and I have three pencils right here, uh, Valentine's Day pencils, and I'm going to put them inside and I'm going to glue the bottom of my box right now. So what you need to do is just fold over 
Hang on while I close this up. You're just going to, let's see if I can see this. You're gonna fold these flaps over, put some glue on it, fold one over the top, and then put some glue on this flap, and then fold this one over. And then I just stand it up and um, make sure that the pencils are on the bottom so that it helps to close the bottom there. All right, so now you've got your pencils in your box and I have the top opening like this so I want to flip it over. So I'm going to decorate this side of the box. So what I have here is I cut the large arrow with gold and then the uh, smaller arrow with red and I layered it with some foam. As you can see here, I have some foam in the middle there. And then I just put some little gold beads, half beads on the top. So now we're gonna glue this to the box and you could see you have this little area right here that doesn't have any slits in it and that's where I put my glue and then you're going to take this to the end of the box and I do like to let a little bit of the box show just like that so I have a little triangle make sure that your arrow is centered in the middle of the box so I have it like that okay and then you're going to layer your arrow so you can either use a die from your stash that's a little bit bigger than the two that you get in the die or you can just use the two and I did layer it up on foam the my foam is not too uh, thick it's uh, very thin but I did layer it up so I have this piece and this piece and this piece layered and then I glued my flower to the center uh, and my leaves underneath and then I wrap that eyelash yarn around it. So now what I do is I place this on here and I'm going to uh, place my box between these three right here that you see on the end like this. So you can't actually see the box the arrow goes right to the end and what I do is I put my thumbnail here and then I just put glue on this end to glue my heart down and I do that so I don't have any messy glue extra glue all right and then turn it over and make sure you have it straight which I do Let's see and you have just that little bit hanging over which does not bother uh, opening this little uh, tab. I just pushed mine down too far. So it doesn't bother with the opening of the tab. See that? Even though that sticks out a little bit. So there we have the arrow. And now we are going to take our words. And I have kind of a big word for this one. I was looking on the internet for, you know, those... Uh, Valentine heart candies. I was looking for one word phrases. <laughs> and that's where I came up with cute, hug, sweet, cupid, smile, love. And then I picked this word here forever. And let's see if it for E B if I can fit it on here. E R. Alright, so that is going to fill that arrow up and for uh, words that you want to do just do a search on the internet for Valentine words I guess they're called conversation candies and then you're just going to put a little glue on the bottom and center them so what I did is I like a lot of dimension in my crafting. So I cut the two millimeter foam first of each letter. And that foam can be found at Hobby Lobby. They have two millimeter there. 
It's 99 cents a sheet. You can get several of them and have them in your stash for when you need them. And then I cut the letters on some glitter, a white glitter paper, which you can find in the paper section at Walmart. And I glued them together before I came here to show you how to do this. And then you just glue it in the center like this. So these make up really quickly. So if you have like 20 kids, 21, 27 kids in a class, you can make a bunch of these in an afternoon probably. I'd say you'd be able to make probably 10 or so in an afternoon, maybe even more. Depends how fast you are. I, th I am a slow crafter, but let me see there. Here we go, and there is the word forever on there already, ready to go. And that was how you create this fun pencil holder for Valentine's Day. So thank you all for joining me. I really appreciate it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and that you will be making some of these cute little pencil holders for you, yourself, and your family, and friends, and parties. So until next time, happy crafting, everyone. Goodbye.